Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This is one of my favorite videos, and you've seen us use our drain cleaning machine where we clean the French drain, the downspout drain. It is a very useful tool, and we use it quite frequently. We're going to use it a little bit different today. We're actually going to clean the line, and you'll see it come into the catch basin here. It came through all the way to the catch basin, and what we're going to do is at the end of this line, we're going to add a sump basin and we're going to put a sump pump down in there. And then we're going to pull an inch and a quarter pipe back out to the curb. Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're in a city called Sanford, which is a little suburb of Orlando, Florida. And what we're doing is we're installing a backyard sump pump and a little different than what we normally do. Let's take a look. So you can see the catch basin here, and there's another catch basin on the other side of the AC, two AC units. You can see where it's been flooding here um, all the time. I was able to send our drain cleaning machine and open this line. It does, does flow, but it's uphill as it goes out to the street. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and dig a sump pit right here, put a Zoller M53 in, and then we're gonna try to actually pull a, a pipe through the existing pipe which runs all the way through here. You can see the second catch basin right here. But we'll pull that pipe all the way through and see if we can't save these people some money rather than excavate through all that roots and whatnot. But that line comes all the way out to the old existing pop-up, which is right here. And you can see that pipe. We're gonna go ahead and try to clean that line first and see if we can't pull that, that new pipe through the existing pipe. And we'll show you what we're talking about here in just a minute. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and run the grain cleaning machine. Remember how that works. This is a spring wound cable, three quarters of an inch. And as the cable goes down the line, goes down through the pipe, if it hits a stoppage, the cable will stop, but the machine keeps turning. It builds up tension and will eventually cut the root system. I've already cleaned this line, but that doesn't mean that there's still not some extra roots in there. So we're gonna be really careful as we run it. Okay, so we've got the operator running the machine. You can see, that, see him out there at the street. And if you listen carefully, you can hear that cable. This is where we are, right here. We just need to come all the way to this catch basin, and then I'll help it get through the catch basin into the other you know, inlet line, and we'll go all the way back to the back back there where we're gonna put the sump pit. Okay, so you can see our cable that's come through the line. Now I'm gonna help it go through the other side of the catch basin um, to the next catch basin, and then we'll pull, once we get all the way through, we'll hook up our discharge pipe, we'll tape it onto that cable, and we'll pull it back through. Okay, so I pushed the cable through to the other side, and you can see coming into the, the cable's now going to the inlet side of this pipe, and it's tight, really tight right here. So we need to get that cable to go all the way back to this catch basin right here. And then we'll be able to put our sump pit in here and attach that to this line and send that water all the way out. Okay, what we've done is we've sent the, the drain cleaning cable, this steel wound cable, it goes through the pipe. I showed you where it comes out, you know, through the first catch basin, which is back here about 70 feet. And it comes through the basin here, and then it comes all the way to the next catch basin, which is here. And you can see our you can see our cable right here, a little bit more tree roots on it. And it's still got tension on that line, so we've got to be a little bit careful. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig a sump pit right here, and then we're gonna to try to pull our discharge pipe back through the existing line. We're also going to hook up, there's some more pipe here. This is the French drain, you can see the gravel. We'll hook that into the sump pit as well. Okay, so we've got our discharge pipe attached to the, to the uh, cable and we're going to try to pull that all the way through so that we've got a good discharge line running through there. Okay, so 
we've got, you know, we pulled back the cable. You can see here's our steel wound cable. Kind of like an electrician fishes a uh, Romex wire through a conduit. We taped on our discharge line, taped that onto the cable. We pulled it all the way back. It's about 100 feet um, back to the back where the guys are working back there. And this will be a great little discharge for that pump. Okay, so we hooked up our Zoller uh, M53 just to kind of pump some of this water out so we can continue to dig the pit. Just a temporary discharge line going out to the rear. What we do is we just hold that float up and we also try to keep the impeller, you know, from going down into the mud so that we can suck it really dry. And just let it run for a little bit. The M53 can pick up a lot of solids. It can pick up sand and um, it'll just keep pulling it through. But if you get too much sand in there, of course the impellers do stop. So now we're perforating the pit so that water can enter from you know, the ground itself. And it also helps keep the pit from floating upwards. Um, when you install a sump basin, it's like a boat because it can float upwards if water gets under it. Okay, so we've got our pit installed. Our pump's in there, we'll show you that in a second. In the discharge line, we're using an inch and a quarter pipe instead of inch and a half because we ran it through, remember? We ran it all the way through the existing four inch pipe. And the reason for that is you can see these tree roots up here. These are just tremendous roots coming from this tree and they pretty much mat the ground. Everywhere we look, you can't even sink a shovel. So in order to save money on the excavation and the install, we pulled that inch and a quarter pipe all the way out and you can see it's already discharged once but we'll test it again when we're all done here okay so you can see we ran an inch and a quarter pipe from the sump basin which is right here through the existing catch basin through the existing pipe all the way out to this cur the curb and this is done to save a whole lot of money um, to, to excavate this section through that roots through the root system here would probably be about twenty two hundred dollars so we went ahead and saved you know all of that by just basically we're charging to install the sump pit and the sump pump so you can see our m53 and i'm running water over here it's coming back into the pit we'll put it directly in and again this is the m53 zoller m53 third of a horsepower and it has an inch and a half discharge that we've made to inch and a quarter and you can see a pump kicks on you can see the hose moving a little bit and it's gonna send that all the way out to the street. Let's go out there and check that pop-up and see what's going on. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Hey, don't forget about live help. This is a great example of this job. Um, you know, this saved a few thousand dollars uh, at least. And it, uh, something that a homeowner can do themselves, a little bit of planning, you know, project planning and help with, you know, what you need to have done. Be happy to help via Skype. Sign up online.